Hi guys, welcome to this video. We are now on the Arcanix B website. So all of these websites, they have a purpose. And the Arcanix B website is about us giving you the power to learn more about Linux, right? Arcanix University, but the B stands for build your own ISO. At some point in time, we thought if we can build ISOs, so can our users. Right? So we're sharing the knowledge how to build an ISO. You get a .iso file, you burn it with a tool on a USB, you boot up and it's gonna be your personal ISO. The idea here, or the question of the users was, can I have an ISO with a Steam on it? Can I have an ISO with this driver? Can I have with some more games on it? Etc. 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 Right? It's it's LibreOffice is the, and not an open office or vice versa or WPS office, etc. etc. So there is for every people for every person, for every user, they're probably gonna be an ISO. And it's gonna be always different, right? They're, the ideal ISO does not exist. So we said, here it is. Build your own ISO. Does this is the video about not downloading anything, building something. And as you see, the latest, the newest of the desktops is left WM and we're going to build it together. So this is the look that we will provide by default and the candy beautiful icons are now part of our ecosystem and are maintained by yours truly. So building, building, it applies to all the ISOs we provide. So 28, actually left WM, 29, right? ISOs. And what you do, it's always going to be the same procedure. If you've seen three, four, five videos of, on this website, right? You say, Eric is explaining exactly the same thing over and over again. I am. So it's simple. It's clone something, get the scripts. So control C. It's always the same, github.com, Arcmix B, and then Arco something, Arco Plasma, Arco Mate, and so on. So this is what we clone. And off we go. We open a terminal, control T, and we're gonna say git clone, but maybe better do this. So I'm on my desktop, right? Present working directory, Homeric desktop, and control shift V. There we go. Now moving it in screen. So this is the Arco left Dalian. And what is probably going to be amazing some people is that we just have one ISO. In essence, we just have one ISO. Because this is only a list of packages. That's all it is. It's saying let's install this package, that package on our ISO, on our future system as well, right? So an ISO is a file, you burn the ISO with a tool, on the USB, you put from USB, you install it. What you see is what you get. What you put on the ISO now is what you'll get on the future system, on your computer system. So if you don't like variety, go and have a look. Control F variety. And you just decide to get rid of things or add things that you like. Simple screen recorder is not added. But I always make videos. So for me, I'll, I'll miss it, right? So it's personal, what's your workflow? What, why are you using an operating system? Because of, right? And then you select the things you like, LibreOffice, Inkscape, and so on. The tip is go to plain text, change to Perl. Anything gray is not gonna be on the ISO. You know, in Calamars, we can still select lots of stuff and it will be downloaded and installed. That takes time. Downloading, installing takes time. Small internet or uh, slow internet, slow CPU, it will take time. So if you do it right now already, it's gonna be on the ISO, it's just gonna be extracted. The phase where it just says, I'm gonna do the squash file system thing there. That's the phase that what you see is what you will get. So if I say Inkscape, you're in, it's in. It's gonna be on the ISO, it's gonna be on your system, you don't have to download anything it's on the ISO, right? I hope it all makes sense. So you choose things that you like, 
maybe you like papyrus icon theme add it to the system you'll have papyrus icon theme and so on and so on but you need to learn of course all these lego blocks and the lego blocks are coming from arch Linux. fine no problem Arconix, again as long as you keep our repos okay, okay you're good but not packages coming from aor you need to build them a package from aor is a recipe how to build it it's not built yet so you can't add it to the list so just stick to these things or if you know things from the, from the arch Linux or the arch Linux repos that's cool don't go to the aor things so arbitrary we've changed some things and it really it doesn't matter it's it's a personal choice get this get that maybe you don't want zsh so you can get rid of it and so on make it your thing and that's what makes arch Linux interesting because you can build your own iso you can build make your own choices and then have your personalized iso okay in the meantime i'm already in installation scripts this one is going to get rid of everything that's on your computer in the sense of the cache of course not everything the cache this and then pacman and packages this is the cache folder all the applications <coughs> that are installed on this system are kept there right and all kind of versions of it so if you want to spare my bandwidth because it's almost finished it's the end of the month you know something like that then you say i will not run that because it's going to clean everything up and download everything again this one is going to reuse everything and just download the things that are missing so in time time wise of course 40 will be easier or, or uh, shorter because you don't have to download anything if you have a slow download it will take its time it needs so with 40 build the iso local again meaning use use and reuse whatever package you have in the var cache pacman packages and it will do the work so we just added the papyrus icon theme and that's it so it downloaded just this one thing and all the rest was already on my system all the xorg stuff and all that so this is what we've chosen to build at this point in time and you can just walk away and um, wait right because it needs to build the iso these are all the packages that go on there and it's your decision now build your own iso that's what this website stands for change whatever you want to change and if you want to learn more and one of the phases that we have at the end of the university is actually start making your own distro and build your own things but first have a look at all the things that are explained here personal creating this and that there's tutorials you can have a look at and there is so much shared like Linux B extended has been shared it's a long series of videos i think <laughs> and with with my would make a guess around 20 videos how we created an ISO with awesome BSP Dolium i3 Herbs Luftdown Qtile X Monet at that point in time because now it contains more all tiling window managers on one thing. So it's lots of um, intel that's in here intelligence, knowledge, right? Here we have GI Joe just actually i3 with GNOME. Is it possible? Of course right so it's a choice you can build anything you want you can build the biggest gaming iso it's in here somewhere as well and so on okay in the meantime we scroll down you can always watch right if you don't want to walk away and say i'm gonna see what's happening right some of the messages are benign other ones you think ah gonna break my thing not gonna break anything some warnings are here and uh, so that's all good and i'll go okay but basically you just have to wait till everything is installed so it's make, gonna make a folder that may be interesting to have a look so article b i'm building right 
So this is the place where the build is going on. And you just saw moving, so there so were some files move around, right? So that's um, where everything is gonna be. And this is our future system. This will be my future system with all the software that I've chosen. Let's scroll down and let's see how far he is. So he's going down the list of all the packages, installing this, installing that, installing this. And some of the developers give a message to the user. So have a look, see what they say. <clears throat> and gradually over time, you'll know which ones are important, urgent, or just benign and can be uh, left, can be ignored. That's the word. Hundred thousand nine hundred uh, thousand ninety five whew, thousand ninety five packages is what we've chosen to install on our future system, and the number doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you want to have six hundred packages. Well, you'll have a bare minimal system, and you'll be happy or not, right? And install later on the things you're missing. So over time you'll change <clears throat> you'll change your workflow you'll change your packages the list of packages <clears throat> it all changes and you can change the package list and that's it i'm gonna pause the video here maybe but in essence there is not much to be said so i'm gonna stop the video it's going to end in an Arclinx B out. So in the folder, Arclinx B out will find a new left WM. And that's what this is about. How to create an ISO. It's super easy. It's going to be your personal ISO. You put the stuff on there that you like. All right. Cheers.